Hello everybody, welcome back. So this is Vance Captain Edition. So last episode we did run with the Zoltan ship. Did a good thing there. Um, didn't really get a proper apply on where to go and stick with the rental mods or go over to ship mods. So for the time being, here's a new ship mod from the minds of me and my co... Well, I'd say creator, but... He knows as well as I do that he didn't really create too much. Let's just say he's a great man for uh, coming up with ideas, balancing stuff out, which is something that I could really learn a bit from, because when it comes down to balancing stuff out, I'm usually not that great. Anyway, yes. Well, uh, there we go. The magpie. Let you behold that a little bit while I continue my explanation. Yes, so another question from me, and I think I finally nailed down how to pronounce his name. I'm gonna wait for it a little bit to keep you all in suspense. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. Uh, ship created by me and Arnie Stuffs. Um, wanted to mess around a bit more with artillery, because for now, the artillery system sits lonely on the Federation ships. So we thought eh, we could probably do a little bit better than uh, that and create something that actually has artillery start off with as well meaning that it starts off until you also implies that you do not need captain's edition to play with it uh, a ship that starts off with artillery will have it on normal ae as well um anyway that's enough of that so let's well we'll go back to our artillery of course because that's the main feature on this entire ship but for now let's uh start off where we have to so federation instigator type a Federation ship masked as pirate for experimental but questionable weapon testing. This one houses the partisan artillery beam. Named the ship the Magpie. Because it keeps in line with the bird themed. Bird themed that ships have as a name. Um, the fact that it's two colored. Same as the Magpie. Fits the description. And the fact that the Magpie is known for stealing shiny items. Means it goes well with it being masked. Masked as a pirate ship. Anyway, enough theory crafting about name and stuff. The partisan artillery, let's have a look at that, right? So it's a custom built weapon in the easy method. Um, it basically means it has the same animations and parents as a standard weapon. In this case, you can see it's right here, the mini beam. But it has different, well, I'd say mechanics, but the way it fires. So um, you can see it here, uh, experimental artillery beam designed to rip through shields and all the like, cooldown 40 seconds, more power means faster cooldown. Um, it's not the same cooldown as the standard artillery weapons, which is 450, 40, 30, 20. Um, only stuff that his look out of the ship, uh, of a previous version, which still had said description. Uh, to write, I can. I'm now pointing at my screen, realizing that doesn't help anyone. Um, but if you look at the description on the right, it still says 40 second cooldown. Um, well, on his version, it still says 50, 40, 30, 20. Um, the moment I put this up on the FTL forums, Rat82 came jumping to me and saying, Oh, if you want to change that, you don't have to look for it at the uh, system blueprint itself, but it's actually somewhere in a MISC folder. I did find it there, and I did manage to change that. So on the version that's now up, it does have the correct cooldowns per level. It also has the correct length of charge beam in game itself. On only stuff's version, it's still fired before the bar was completely full, so I ended up shortening the bars to the correct length. So the part of the be beam is like a mini beam, with the exception that well, it's like a beam then, because uh, pretty much everything on the mini beam of it changed. Uh, it's shorter than a mini beam. Going from 45 to 35, it pierces all shields and has a high breach chance. Hull damage and system damage is the same. Uh, of course, the cooldown, you can see on the right, it pains me a little bit knowing that third level 2 is actually standard cooldown of the weapon you've created. So, like, if you want an uh, artillery weapon that has a first cooldown of 50... It's actually 40 seconds you have to put in on the weapons blueprint. Anyway, that's just for modders out there. Nothing you guys need to worry about. Um, the hull you see here 
has been made by Lemonade and because he listed under Creative Commons allowing it to be added to the Caps Edition I am, means I was also allowed to use this one for my own evilness and plans and such. So, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I just need to check up something and then we can actually get this party started. Okay, so I did have a slight issue there with my recording setup. I had to start restart the game and all that jazz. Um, so that means we got a different crew member, but, well, different crew type names, persons. But that doesn't matter. Let's get started. Uh, we do have a random flagship. Let's look at the data first. Uh, Central Incestible Reactor Station. Okay. Cloaking Mind Control. Mind Control Teleporter. Um, burst Laser Battery Breach Missile. Anti-Bio Beam. Ion Phase. Advanced anti hull Combat Drone. Defense Hull Repair. Huh, weird. Cool. Uh, armor plating and fire suppression. All right, well, we're probably not going to be starting too many fires anyway, but... All right, so I'm still using Captain's Edition. Not because it's a requirement to play with the ship. Um, ship's computer reassures the crew simulation show good chances for this engagement. Remain calm and do your job. Alright. Um, yeah, still playing cap position, not because it's a requirement. If a ship starts off with artillery, there's no need to go by an artillery system. Um, ah, wonderful. Um, I'm just using cap position because I like cap position, and I'm using a random flagship because it makes the game more interesting. Um, if you want to see the ship played out on AE, go over to Ani Stuff's channel. He's doing. We already did, probably already did at this point. Uh, f a run with a ship on just standard AE. Um, I mean, the only difference there will be the weapons and stuff like that. So nothing that would really be troublesome or too different from this one. But hey, if you want to see more of the Magpie, that's one place where you can go find it. Um, this is really, really slow. Are we gonna take damage at the end of it? No! Alright, you three medbay. Not enough scrap to do an upgrade to the weapon system. Engines, weapons, shields, pilots. Alright, so as you can see, uh, it does fill up completely because I shortened the bar a little bit. Um, I eat the civilian ship. Eat the civilian ship. So I can either get hit by this thing or by mini beam. Uh, wouldn't have mattered on both accounts there. Uh, well, he's not trying to run straight away. That's a welcome surprise. He does have titanium system plating, system casing. Why would you give this to 500 different ships? I wonder. Do you just hate me? I think the shot on Cloak is gonna be... yep. I don't think he can... make it so one system in particular can't be hit. Although he did do something weird prior to this, like... Uh, not isolated rooms, but like... A room split in two, but a system taking up four, both of the rooms, something weird. Anyway, you couldn't hit a particular system on those ships. That, well, that was a weird thing to have happen. Uh, we can upgrade now to get all of our weapons going. Which 
something you probably want on this ship. Yes, we are not properly equipped. Oh, great. No, no, it's great. Especially because this ship has a lot more stuff going for him than I do. I don't have a Burst Mark II. I never seem to find that weapon f for some reason. I mean, there's like 500... Yeah, well, there goes the artillery. Fine, it's not like it was an important part of our ship anyway. Well, you will not accept... Yeah, sure, put it on fire again, why not? Probably should get that fixed before our next jump, though. Alright, well, you can kill yourself if that's what you're after. I'm not gonna say it's a bad idea. I'm just gonna say you probably should consider different options. So, we got a bit of spare time here. We can always hurry up. Now, if we decide to go here, we're pretty much set for the whole journey. Yeah, let's do it. I uh, would have gladly sold missiles to you. Doesn't seem like there's anything here either. Yes, there is. Attack! We're gonna get shot up. By some missiles, it seems. Uh, sending out two people will suffice. Question is which two people? We're gonna get hit in the face with a missile anyway, so... There's no escaping that. Right, come on, no NGs on board. Alright, no NGs on board. That's something. I can work with that. Alright, that's on fire. Let's turn off the artillery for now. And uh, We need two more hull damage. Surrender is not an option. Hmm. I don't think we can do it, actually. It's got... Too little hull left to him. The reason I'm saying that is that's a level 3 med bay because it's a Federation medivac. I need to do two hull damage on. Yeah, two, because I can use the down stunner to take away the last bar, but uh, there's no way I'm being able to wait long enough. Do you like freaking not? All right, you can already go heal up and we'll send in. You'll be fine, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, we're not even close to getting shields up and we're all fairly close to the end of the sector. Yeah. Yeah, let's hit the distress beacon. Why not? What do we have? In uh, sure. That's gonna take forever to vent, so I just go and take care of the fire the normal way. Shields. Nowhere near enough power for him, though. Okay. What do we have in here? Ugh, here we go again. Good thing our life support is up to scratch, though. Uh, up to scratch. 
Our last port is 100% is what I was trying to get across. Um, shield recharge is going to be a bit important, I would say. Indeed. Ah, so that's a flag too already, huh? Well. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that we that enemies start off with decent weapons. Ah, an NG. I love the freaking NGs, right? God, I hate NGs. Artillery beam. Yeah. Alright, we don't have a lot of evasion, but we can make it work. Come on. Nope. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, we got auction online at least. That's something. Sure, sure, sure. Boom. Come on, don't be pointless. Trying to run, which is par for the course, really. No need to worry about their weapons, which means we can lower our engines. Actually, it's better off doing it like this. Right, let's get this thing started, huh? That swing and a miss, swing and a miss. What are we actually facing? It's just a rebel ship, so this shouldn't be that hard to take care of, but no, we keep missing every th single thing we try to do here. Alright, so we got some breaches in, that should keep them occupied for a little bit. Shot down a drone, that's really gonna help out. Okay. Serve drones. I think that's more than just a basic trade good, right? No, nope, basic trade good. Eh, well, uh, we can do this one without too much of a problem. Maybe there's an auto scout there. Oh, but it's an actual pirate attack. So we can't see Jack, and that's a baton beam. means we're just gonna be of the annoying sort. We can check whether or not they have an NG on board just by looking at how the repairs are going. I already sent someone into oxygen which kind of surprises me. But that's all of their systems shot at. Shields are good. Now they're trying to repair auction again, so we'll hit shields up again, although we could wait for the partisan beam. Did not do too much, but if we now fire this in again. Okay, they're trying to run, but with that... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to do kill them here. They seem to be, again, a little too low on hull for that. Besides the fact that I can't see shit, doesn't really make this an appealing option. Alright, so we kind of did what we want in this sector. That's get next to a level of shields and our second, uh, third weapon online. It's still not that great though, considering there are ships out there that start off with 
more shots than we still that we have right now. Ah, uh, well. Then again, the ships don't start off with artillery. So, yeah. Uh, this is civilian, right? Yeah. Didn't think it was going to be a good idea to attack that. Alright, here we go. Are we in danger? No. Let's get you over to sensors and see how we are going to oh, double repair drones. That's going to be a pain. Unless they only have three in drones, then I can pretty easily take those out. Ah, why did you miss, you boob? Mm -hmm. Disappointing. Well, they could still have three power in there, and they do, so... Sucks to be me, I guess. There we go. Alright, so that room isn't going to be used anymore. Because they can't send anyone in to repair that. I um, suppose we'll go for auction now, although it seems stupid to do that at this point. Probably have more than level 1 oxygen anyway. No, they do not. But they already fixed the problem there. Uh, let's just kill them. I'd like to hit that store up there just to get another weapon going. We split them up a little. You two, go take care of that dude. And that's one that doesn't even need oxygen. That's weird. So that was unavoidable. Stupid. Yeah, let's suffocate them as well while we're at it. Alright. Close the doors again. wonder why he tried to run, though. Want hit that store? We're gonna have to hurry our butts up, though. Yeah, missile launcher and a burst. Wow, man! Why do these ships all come with cooler stuff than I have? Well, basically because I put this stuff on the ships. You know. Now, why does it all fire quicker? I mean, I find it kind of odd that an Artemis missile would fire quicker than a basic laser. I'm not even surprised I can't get any hits in. And I'm a bit surprised that the Artemis managed to stay online there, though. Oh no, they got like 50 repair drones in there, don't they? Oh no. Here we go again. Yep, that's a swing and a miss. Let's see what this thing does. That's not going to be there for long. Yep, two repair drones again. Man, I'm not catching any breaks with this one. Okay, at least we mm, didn't take too much damage. I suppose I can go to that store and make my way around. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, this one, because I can't really allow... Uh, of course, there's a missile launcher involved. 
which will probably shoot quicker than I can. I'll look at that when I got some time. Uh, go. Alright. Complain long enough and eventually something will go your way. Can't really say it's words to live by either, but... Shields are down, so this should be an easy fight now. How many people are left? It's not gonna matter, they won't be around for too much longer. There we go. Alright. Anti personnel drone. That loads near our turf quite well. We suffered heavy damage from asteroid impact, seriously. Blah, blah, blah. We know this bit. Alright. Come on, weapon. Give me weapons. So I'll serve drones. Yeah, it's probably not the smartest to do this straight away, but. And we can get cloaking, or we can get flak. I like flak. Flak is good. So we need 85, and we have 85. Alright. Now we just need to move our butts to the exit. We have no real need for our sh second shield layer here. And I will fire as soon as... Uh, wait, is this 10 seconds as well? Oh, this is gonna be good. Of course, ooh, it resisted. So once again, we found a little bit of gunk carrying system casing. Um, no, we're too close to the exit. So, theoretically, I can just set everything to auto fire even now. Yep, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So, basically, there's 10 seconds. That actually explains a lot. Because I think Artemis is like 6 or 7. Cargo teleporter will facilitate trading. So I could actually buy one of these things. Let's get these space rations. Stealth, what are you? Cloak combat drone that evades enemy anti drones. Or I don't know if this works. Uh -huh. Just throwing it out there. I have my doubts on that thing. A civilian vessel detached from nearby space station approaches you. A well-aged Union trader appearing on screen federation. Welcome to our humble trade post. You're carrying space because you're currently buying at good prices. You can also have a look at our ship gear, but uh, only sh should we come to an agreement. This might take some time. Uh, we don't have that time. If you had a cargo teleporter, this would have been a lot easier. But no. Here you are. Proclaiming... You want to do a bunch of trade, but then you do not have the necessary equipment for it. That is just in bad taste, you know. Stop the missile from firing and everything will be fine. We did not stop the missile from firing and it hits nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant safe, I know. Um... Once again, I'm not pretty sure I won't be able to kill any of the crew, so I'm just gonna let the partisan beam get the kill here. Do it, partisan. If 
five health points repaired. Can we get? Yes. All right, then we leave. Um, yeah, well, we have no need for drone parts, so. <laughs> Experiment PT, that's NG. And I hate NGs, but it's still better than the alternative, I think. Freshest air on the ship. Yep, too bad it's not always activated. Do we have anything to sell? Yes, we have the space rations. There's no need to keep those any longer than we have to, unless we're planning on going to Mantis Sector or some sorts. So, space rations. Asteria 5, whoa, sheesh. So this is just a better version of this. It fires a lot quicker. <laughs> All right, what else do we need? One more bar of power for our ion stunner. Life support is sticking up slow as hell, though. Uh, yeah, because this will end up in a fight, which is kind of what I want. Ooh, whoa. Uh, maybe I do not want this fight. Uh, try to stop some of these drones as soon as we can. Huh? How about that option? Oof. Lucky with our misses. That's all I can say on that end. We're not killing this one. We're going to try and get out of this as soon as possible. He's heading for medbay, it seems. Alright. Yep, thank you, Partisan. Apparently you interrupted the equivalent of Constellation. The NG were not truly hostile. The targeting crews had not finished adjusting. There's nothing to be done about it. You leave the remains for a surviving ship. Ah. Okay. Kinda wish there was just a teensy bit more combat around here, you know? Uh, yeah, I got plenty of humans to go around. The Mantis is grateful to see another human and introduce himself as Robert Smith. He explains he's from a nearby human colony. Would appreciate it if you return, return him home. Colonies are mining, blah, blah, blah. Do I want my engines upgrade over another crew member? I'll, off. I'll take another crew member. Which means you can go back to shields and you can man those for now. <coughs> Still no combat. And I'm kind of running low on fuel. <sighs> there, there's the fuel bit taken care of, but we're still not gaining any scrap for this entire sector. Now, let's see. Can we get out of here without too much of an issue? Well, we can get hit. That's a certainty. And again, NG's all over the damn place. Sure, we're in an NG sector, but still, it's not normal. It's not normal. The problem with all of this is I never get the chance to kill the crew because it's full of NGs and they repair breaches at the speed of whatever. I'm kinda thinking that I'm going into a dead end here. E nope. Okay. Probably tune up my engines in a little while. Ah, uh, my control. We'll um, send you in to take care of it. And then this. And let me wait a little bit and fire in these two. And we can basically let that auto fire until 
Hey, 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 that was a cheap shot, okay? That wasn't necessary. Uh, that's a firebomb. Nope, just a big bomb. Wow, they just shot him dead. <laughs> okay. I think that can be done to about that, apparently. Yeah, that's definitely where we want that to happen. Right. Okay. Oh, there was a fire in there. Good. Wonderful, to be exact. Alright, well. Might as well let it burn out now. Not jumping to the store I think let's see if I jump here move to here and I'll jump to here and I'll move to here and I jump here and I'll move to here yeah, I think I can do these here, 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 here. yeah okay just have to wait for the fire to die out and then we'll have to wait for shields to be prepared Who will be done first? The dude repairing shields or the dude repairing sensors? The dude repairing sensors. So you're the new gunner, huh? Okay. I'll allow it, because what else can I do? Yeah. Not a Hasta Beam, which is a better weapon than this. And now we're out of a pilot. I'm not going to let the Mads pilot. There we go. Man, we're losing crew left and right here. Some of them get shot up. That I want to say they just want to get the fudge on out of here. Um... Uh, Come across a freighter of Avenger refugees, it's unclear if they flee from the rebels or the massive invaders, but their ship is seriously damaged and they surely need help. I don't think I get anything out of that unless I have an NG of my own. Well, let's try our new setup, which now consists of firing Flaken first. They're actually waiting for their entire thing to be charged. Don't see that happening too often. Alright, well, it's some damage. is too badly damaged anymore. My fuel is pretty decent. Lane rift sealed sector. Not gonna go into sealed sector. Don't really want to get my crew killed. I don't have too many of them to go around and start off with, so... Well, be more careful with that stuff. Trust me, it's good for you. My control! Brilliant! Um... Alright, so... They can't really do too much damage to us. That's something, at least. Fired in though, so the pulsar could actually do some work. Should probably go on the weapons 
There we go. Alright, we don't need our pilot in the meantime. We'll fire in flak again though to keep that shield down. And we'll fire a drone control to try and keep it down. Uh, we will not accept surrender. We lost oxygen and for some reason you never decided to go back to your station. Maybe because I never assigned one to you. Maybe because you're an idiot. Who knows? Thanks for that one. Uh, let's get you two healed up again. Okay. Uh, you're not piloting. You and you switch out. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. Um, let's continue going. With our low crew dudes. Store cloaking would be well appreciated. And there it is. And I don't think we want anything else. So, yeah. We'll need another power bar, though. I suppose we can always take that from our oxygen if we really want to. Hmm. Seems like a good idea at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Fine. Might cloak. Alright, let's see what that has that can do for us, huh? Fire! Wait, let's just let our shield bar get full first. There we go. Now, weapons. And the hast beam. Do you span an entire thing? No. So you have to kind of aim it like this, huh? We'll start off here. In this little corner and go like that. Nice. We're not safe by any stretch of the imagination. There you have it. Game always being polite enough to prove my point. Alright, we will soon have our beam up. And by beam, I mean our artillery. Go, go, partisan! Unless we had every shot here, then it won't be necessary. Nope. And we did. Alright. Thank you for still causing a breach on something that has already broken off, though. <coughs> Repairs! Power bar. Okay, we probably have to save the layouts, huh? Okay, there we go. Well, stations. Whatever. Okay, my control. He didn't go for the Mantis, which is well appreciated. He's a bit more of an uh, idiot to try and take out. care of mind control just in time. And we should be fine against these fools. Alright. Close up. Everyone med bay and then we'll We'll get this breach sorted out. Okay. Eh, might as well get you healed up too. Why not? Get it all in the green. 
something golfers apparently like to hear, and it's on the green. Okay. Uh, we got a store where we don't really have a need for. I think I'm good for weapons for quite a bit, actually. Uh, sell the missiles. And upgrade. 45. Get 5 extra dodge chance. There we go. Alright. <coughs> Gotta get rid of that not having 100% when we're used cloaking. Uh. Wait, what? Mark the Nestle and can you send up some supplies to get you there? Hmm. Is that the thing you need a Lanius for to make work? Hmm. Don't know. Alright, this is a potential problem, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, that's a big weapon gone. Wait, that's three, and I think that one's also two. They got s oh man, they got NGs as well. Huh? All right. Let's have a look at how many NGs are on that thing. Ah, eh, just the one. Probably not possible to wait for the auction to run out. Not unless I find a way to kill the NG. Um, no. Yeah, this is gonna take way too long unless we can cause some breaches. Alright. Has to be used out. That's not good. We'll keep trying, though. Missing, obviously, not helping too much. Uh, let's see what the bridge beam does here. Ah, I went on engines again, huh? Well, let's kill him. Alright, good. It's a good amount of scrap. Um, boom, bam. Alright, 35% dodge, that's at least something already. Um, we'll go to the quest marker, but I don't think we'll be able to do anything there. Uh, ignore. Although I don't think we'll be able to get to the quest marker, so maybe we better not do that. Alright, two missile launchers, three missile launchers, and boarders in our doors. Straight away, this is not a good start to this run. We can't afford to lose door, so this is our only option. Um, best time to cloak yet. Okay. One still hit the weapons. Alright. And that is why we do not really appreciate not having 100%. Oh, one missile launcher is gone. Mm, it might be better off just leaving here. Because those borders are going to be annoying as fuck. Everything's on fire as well. That's not helping. They're out of missiles? Could it possibly be that they're out of missiles? Well, in that case, you really don't have a lot to bring to the table anymore, do you? This could be good. Uh, they're boarding again, though, and probably once again indoors again. 
I don't know why they enjoy door so much. Oh, they're on shields, actually. Give me... Right, we had a sneak peek on what was going on in there. Uh, are we afraid of losing sh engines? Yes. Yeah, shoot your own crew member, see what happens. Okay, close it up again. Jeez. They're probably never taking that down. Artillery, you can go offline. They're soon going to be running out of oxygen anyway. Man, breaches everywhere. But they're probably going to be dead soon. Just can't let my crew run too low on health. Man, this is taking forever. There we go. And we got an NG. <clears throat> Who's good at weapons? Which means you can actually go to shields. Okay. You go repair that, you go repair that, you go repair that. Alright, we're slowly getting back into things. So you're going on engines, which means you can leave for shield like that, and then like so. Okay, good. Uh, don't think we can do the quest anymore, so we'll just go here, hope it's not an empty beacon, and then prepare to move on. It's not empty. And we've lost the Hasta beam already, so I don't want to lose the Hasta. We'll cloak out of the way of that. It's all the same with you. Let's see if we can get something done here, huh? So this thing, it says repeatedly attacks a ship, but it only gives the enemy vision. I still have no real idea on why they load the enemy up with that kind of stuff. It's basically just kind of an annoying little thing. But hey, who am I to judge, right? I can use a bit of a break. Nope, we're at the end. And seeing that he can give us a sector scan and nothing but a sector scan, I think this is a no go. There we go. So, as long as we don't get an ion bomb on our weapons, this should be the end of you. Alright. <clears throat> Time to leave. After that, we'll probably do some upgrades. Can always use the extra artillery. Health crisis, huh? Nope. Health crisis is even worse than a nebula, I would say. Okay, well that's gonna be it for this episode, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you support by commenting, liking, and or subbing, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.